Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Foundation. I picked this up on sale at Priceline when they were doing the 40% off. And yeah, um, it claims to be a light infusing foundation, flawless skin as if lit from within with liquid light technology, which sounds interesting. And then I'll just quickly read you the blurb on the back. Infuse the skin with a ray of light, illuminating your skin complexion as if lit from within. The radiance of your skin seems recreated. Perfect coverage without masking. And the result? A radiant, flawless complexion that's full of life. Sounds good to me. Um, it has an SPF of 18 and you get 30 mils in the bottle, which is standard. So I think this will be okay for every day. So let's just see how it goes. Okay, so it has a pump, that's good. Packaging is just gorgeous, absolutely love that. Um, let's just do one pump onto my hand. Oh, and for reference, I've got the shade N1, which is the lighter shade available in Australia. I'm not too sure if that's a pump or not. Um, I'm gonna do another pump on the other side of my hand just to see what the full size pump looks like. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, this one here is the full size pump. Um, decent size, I guess. It does look a bit runny. <laughs> As you can see, it's traveling down my hand, but that's okay. Um, so let's just see how it goes applying to the face. I'm just going to do one side as per normal and again just for reference if you're new to my channel I have kind of normal combination skin and I have a lot of redness and then I have a few blemishes that I need to cover today Oh, it's really thin in consistency when I touch it on the back of my hand. Wow it Doesn't really have a smell which is good. So if you're sensitive to fragrance that wouldn't be an issue for you Okay that happened. Um, I'm not wearing any primer or anything like that by the way. I feel like it's adapting to my skin very very nicely. I really enjoy that. Even though it looks super super yellow and the wrong tone, um, it did really blend into my skin. And it's super easy to spread as well. I think this may work like perfectly with a beauty blender. I'm going to pat under my eyes with my finger instead of that brush, just because it is a little bit large. I feel like with one layer you can definitely see that my skin has been evened out and it kind of blurs my pores a little bit. I don't have significantly large pores, but it doesn't like make them huge or anything like that. Um, it has covered up a decent amount of my redness as compared to this side. And then I don't really have much redness around my nose, but it has masked it. Masked. Masked. You know what I mean. It quite well. So far, I'm quite happy with one thin layer. I used about, I would say, a pump and that tiny little droplet I had on my hand before. Um, I'm not too sure why this bit looks lighter than this bit. Oh, there we go. It was lighting. Duh. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do the other side now and see what it looks like all together. And also it did cover nicely my dark circles. That's about as much coverage as I'd normally get from one layer of concealer. So that's pretty good. I do like how thin in consistency this foundation is. It's really, really, really nice. Like I could see myself wearing this every day if it performed nicely. I am gonna do two layers of this foundation once I finish applying this. So I just finished using that last pump. I am going to go in with another pump because I haven't put any on my forehead yet. So yeah, I'm going to go in with another pump now. And again, about the same size. I think these are decent sized pumps. I think you could get away with about two and a half pumps. Maybe. We'll see. I am just going to really quickly apply my second layer now. So again, I'm experiencing the same on this side as I did with this side. My redness has been covered, which is great. And also, have I put any on my eyes? I didn't put any on my eyes, whoops. I'm just gonna really quickly tap a little bit underneath my eyes. So yeah, it has covered my dark circles quite well. Considering how thin in consistency this is, it's amazing coverage. The foundation does seem a little bit tacky, but none seems to be transferring off my face, which is good. Yeah, I really enjoy the color match. It looks really, really, really natural and seems to have adapted to my, like, my face. Yeah, face. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so tongue-tied. So I'm gonna use the rest of that pump that's been sitting on my hand. Whatever. I'm just gonna apply that to my face. And the 
this time I'm just going to go in stippling motions on my face. Wow, that completely covered my redness, if you can see that at all. I think I'm just going to do this where I need the coverage, to be honest. It does seem to be very, very buildable, which I like. I'm just going to put a little bit on that little stupid dot. I'm just going to put a bit more on my nose, just because, I don't know. I like putting it on my nose. Okay. I feel like you could have done that with, say, a, two pumps. Um, yeah, so I have that left over now, so I might just bring that down my neck a little bit, just because I have it left over. This really adapts to the skin. I really, really like it. Oh, I have a little dot here that I didn't cover. I don't know if you can see, but it didn't really cover that red spot too well. So I think it covered quite nicely. Um, I do see a lot of luminosity to the foundation, especially when I like turn my head into the light and so forth. You can see like the light reflecting off my face. So I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup. It's currently 8.10, if you can see that at all. Yeah, 8.10. And I will check back with you after I put on my makeup. Okay hey guys, so I just really quickly put on my eye makeup um, and my lip products. I did put on a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes just because I really didn't like the appearance of my dark circles, but I didn't powder at all. I'm just going to really, really quickly do my cheek products. Okay, so I am going to powder my nose just because this is a luminous or loomy foundation. So I'm just going to use my MAC MSF. Um, I wouldn't do this if it was a mattifying foundation, but because it is like a super luminous and like glowy foundation, I am going to just um, dust it in my T-zone. So just on my nose. Okay, so that's as much as I'm going to do in regards to my face products. I also didn't set underneath my eyes. I don't know if I should. Uh, whatever, I've gone too far to do that. Okay guys, so it is currently 8, 7, wait, 8.75, no, um, it's currently 8.57, if you can see that there, on Sunday morning, joy, um, so yeah, I will check back with you in a little bit. Okay guys, back for another update, it's currently 1.10 and the foundation's actually looking really, really good, a little bit glowy but it is a luminous foundation it is a tiny bit sticky but that might just be because I didn't set it with powder um, foundation still on my nose and everything seemed to be wearing just fine so yeah let's look up close it's so not sinking into my laugh lines or anything like that and it's not sinking into my pores which is great bronzer and blush is still there so that's really really good um, was that all I need to tell you guys yeah I think that's all so far so good Currently 111 if I didn't say that before. Yeah, quite happy. It is a very luminous foundation. I'm not gonna say that it's not. Um, it is very, very luminous. But it did provide a nice amount of coverage and the coverage hasn't seemed to have faded yet. So that's good. Although I can start to see a little bit of redness around my nose. So, but because it's still there, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna check back in a few hours. Okay guys, back for another update. It's currently 4.23, if you can see that on my phone. So far, I look really, really, really shiny. Um, like, especially like here. But funnily enough, none has actually broken down or like come off my face. There's a hair on my face. Yeah, none of it's broken down. It's just really, really oily. So I think at this stage, I may powder only because I think a touch up is required, personally speaking. So I'm gonna do that really quick click. Just again, using my MAC MSF. This has almost been a full business day as well. Okay, the powder doesn't seem to be taking away the shine. I applied it, actually in the viewfinder, you can see it a bit more. No, definitely, the powder hasn't taken away the like dewiness, but I can feel it's oily. Like it's definitely like oils. That's so TMI, whatever. I'm just going to do one half and see if you can see the difference. So I don't know if you can see the difference between 
this side having no powder and this side having powder. I think this side does look a lot nicer than this side to be honest. Let's look up close. Yes, I much prefer the side that has powder on it. So I'm just going to powder the other side of my face. Hold on. But my bronzer and blush are still there, which is good. Um, I'm really happy that it hasn't actually broken down or like faded away. So that's always a good sign. And also it hasn't sunken into my pores, which is great. So yeah, it is currently 4.26. I will check back with you at the end of the night if you can see that at all. Okay guys, so I'm back for my final update of the night. It's currently 6.59 if you can see that on my phone right there. And yeah, so I basically had this on for like almost 10-ish hours I think. Let me just get my mirror. I would definitely say that my foundation is at the end of its life, I'm afraid. Um, it hasn't like worn away unevenly like I'd say that it's worn away quite nicely um, it's still kept its coverage which is always nice and there's still foundation on my nose which is a great indication but yeah considering I don't have any primer on or anything like that I think it went significantly well throughout the day um, I did do that second touch up during the day as well but overall I think it did last quite nicely it hasn't emphasized my pores or anything like that I think it's honestly just really, really nice. Um, I will definitely continue to use this, especially as an everyday foundation. Maybe not as like an everyday, like not an everyday, like a going out foundation, but definitely for everyday, I think it's gonna be quite nice. And yeah, I think it's impressed me so far. Um, I am going to do my final test, which I always do, which is the foundation powder test to see if it does cake up or anything like that. So I'm just going to grab my foundation powder and I'll be back in just one second. Okay, so I've just got my Max Geo Fix powder and I've just got my powder brush. So I'm just going to really quickly apply this to my face. I'll do one side first so you can see the difference. I apologize again for the lighting, my goodness. Whew, I need to get white lights or something. I think with the touch up it looks a lot nicer. Obviously it's taken the shine away. But overall, putting a powder foundation over the top makes it look actually quite nice. And I'll be happy to go out to say dinner after work with this on. I wouldn't be like, oh my god, my skin, I don't like it, I need to go home, kind of thing. So yeah, I think overall, with touching it up with foundation, it is quite nice. Again, and it's kind of like brought it back to life a little bit. Um, it's definitely not as perfected as when I put it on in the first place but it doesn't look horrible. Overall, I really, really, really do enjoy this foundation. I think I would highly, highly recommend it if you had, say, normal to combination skin. Maybe not so much oily skin. Um, even dry skin, I think it would work nice with because I do have a few little dry patches around my nose, which I forgot to mention before, and it hasn't emphasized those at all. Like I have pretty much forgotten about them. I would definitely say it's a thumbs up in my books. So yeah, definitely let me know if you're going to try the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Foundation and what you think of it. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!